You guys all right? We're good, we're good. good. You're good. Carry okay. on, you're doing really good. No, no okay, okay, good. All right, so as you, you, you like my shirt, everybody likes my shirt, right? Yeah, hey, promotion. What about that, by the way, ladies and gentlemen? I'll tell you what. <laughs> Let's be real. Sorry, back to, back to this. <laughs> People can't handle the Ricky Whittle experience. It's like a, a whole thing. So uh, what's up, I guys? Should, we should, we've only got like a few minutes. We should probably just <laughs> exactly. maybe No, it's fine. I mean, this join is in. totally making my job easier. Totally that. join in. Um, yeah. Um, no, can Hi. I just say thanks to Jen, who, who made this Ricky Whittle experience t-shirt? Because yes. apparently I do an experience. You uh, are cons. an experience, well, not that you do one, you it, are it, yeah, one. Yeah, if you've ever I, met yeah. Ricky Whittle, it is an experience. It's a lot. Yeah. In a good way. In a in very a, in a, in a good way. way. I mean, yeah. we're not saying it's a bad thing. It's like, you know, it's positivity. Yes. It's love. Yes. I like to give Whittle hugs. Yes. Whittle cuddles. Whittle. A Whittle, a Whittle <laughs> selfie. He likes to wear See, Whittle shirts I like that to are like wear Whittle tight. Okay, and for anyone judging at home who doesn't know why I'm wearing the tightest t-shirt, which is basically painted on... That's Wait, because I know how to do branding. That's how. <laughs> she knows how to brand, and she said, "If it's tighter, we can read it better because it's stretched across your bosom." Which is kind of accurate. Kind See? of, yeah. There you go. And you're now an honorary fangirl. Fangirl, squee! <laughs> I now regret giving you that shirt. Is that it? Right? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's literally that's exactly my hashtag. Exactly what it is. Yeah. Hashtag, hashtag squee. Hashtag squee. Yeah. Hashtag Squee. Yeah. That's be a new emoji. So Squee! we gotta go. We're gonna wrap this up. No, <laughs> so what's up? We how? have no fun at all. No, no, I, no, I, I hope everyone's having fun. Such a shame. I hope everyone's having fun. Oh man. <laughs> um, big, big, big love to Chicago though. Um, yes. I just want to say this is my first time in Chicago, and I've always wanted to come to Chicago because. I was a Bear and Bulls fan. Mm. Wait, I don't even think most, I mean, the Bulls, yes, but I don't think right. most people in Chicago no, but see, are Bears so fans. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I'm Bears? British, so, <laughs> I'm uh, but in England, you, they only showed the best teams, and when I was growing up, I grew up with Michael Jordan, the Bulls, and in the Bears, you had Walter Payton, and, you know, the Fridge, and all that kind of stuff, so they were the best. the Super Bowl shuffle? <laughs> the Super Bowl shuffle? Yeah, didn't they do that? Thank you. See, oh, the thank you. That, yeah. You call yourself a Bears fan. <laughs> I mean, there's certain things you try and block out. Oh, that bless. thing is a masterpiece it, of pop like culture classic. Exactly. Yeah. Go on, uh, tell us more about how you were a Bears fan. No, so anyway, so yeah, and that's why I, I was a Bear and you know a Bears and Bulls fan, and uh, that's why I've always wanted to come to Chicago. Yeah. Um, and it's been wonderful, and you didn't let me down. I got here and it snowed. <laughs> Everyone said it was cold as heck, and thank you for that. I didn't really need you to prove it, but you did. But uh, the people are lovely. I love it. I love the accents. Chicago. Chicago. Oh, yeah, well, sure. I'm just happy to be back after 10 years because this is where I started in this theater. This is hometown. This is hometown. But so. she doesn't have any Teach Chicago came home. accent. She has no Chicago <laughs> accent. I feel like... Right, right. It's more a little more transatlantic right now. Because you're classy. <laughs> but no, this is amazing to come back and to see all of this. And I was just saying, it's kind of surreal to be doing photo ops and stuff in a place where, you know, I used to work at the salon in Marshall Fields, or which is now amazing. you do hair? I actually didn't. I was a receptionist, believe it or not. <laughs> Oh, I was a good receptionist, I'll say. I'll say. I was actually pretty damn good. Uh, I love when she talks about, like, random jobs she used to have, because they're always what was your first the job? most random jobs. <laughs> okay, everyone's, everyone's okay, first job. Everyone's Here we go. Okay, job? oh, just okay. a couple of first ones then. My okay. first job was actually, believe it or not, working in a hair salon. Nice. With, but it was, like, sweeping up hair. You're going to you gonna leave you. me hanging? Yeah. Oh, thanks, Ricky. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. I got you. I'm okay. sorry. I got sorry. you, bro. I had to switch hands. <laughs> Yeah, but I was like too young to work, but I looked older, so I said I had working papers. But I so didn't. it's illegal. Yeah, so it was basically child labor, is what I'm saying. Oh okay. bless. Yeah. Okay, you want to hear another random yeah. job that I had? The yeah. first one I did was a grocery bagger, at a Kroger's. Okay. <laughs> what was your first job? Wow. Was it a t-shirt model? Um, <laughs> my first job was uh, yeah, I was an Armani model. I. Uh, I was a, a Gucci model. I did a little bit for d and I'm joking. I washed dishes. I was outraged. I used to wash dishes in this like fancy convention, like kitchen, and like used to have, people used to come in and stuff. And like, I'd be like buzzing just as the restaurant's about to close at 10 o'clock, and then that son of a gun comes in at like 9:50 and goes, "Yeah, yeah I'd like the starter, or the steak, and I love the dessert." And I'm like, "I gotta clean your dishes, bro." Everyone else is gonna go home, and I'm just gonna be sat here waiting you for finish your food. I was, I was there. I, I almost had you. So I used to, and don't do this at home. But I really like the cookies that they used to make in the kitchen. 
and I, you know, I had to clean up the whole kitchen after everyone leaves. I used to take pockets full of cookies <laughs> home and eat them for like dessert and then have them for breakfast in the morning. I was young and foolish and I'm, own, I'm owning up now and I apologize for stealing all those cookies at, at the end of my shift. When I, I used to be a Hooters girl. Yeah. And a Hooters girl? Yeah. I would and, have totally uh, been, I would totally would have been to your Hooters like. I wasn't nice though. Day. I like wasn't nice to people. <laughs> I was like, I was like a kind of like a bitchy Hooters girl. Really, I wouldn't really get that from you. Really shocking for anybody that knows me. Not at all. On Outrageous. Brand. But uh, we used to have like this key lime pie, yeah. and I we used to steal the key lime pies. Oh, thank you. I don't feel so bad yeah. now. Like I felt. Don't like, do I, any of these things at, at home. Oh, because I see people judging me. Like, yeah. oh, he's yeah. disgusting. <laughs> no, no, actually, you, you should set an example. You're on tally. Oh my god. No, I actually feel left out now. I'm like. Because you don't steal. I should have oh, so, something oh. at home. I. What was I doing? She's so because pure. Because you weren't a criminal employee like the two of us, basically. <laughs> yeah. Cheat the system. Cheat, don't cheat the system. Don't, don't, don't cheat the don't system. Do that. It's actually really the shitty don't, thing to do. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't yeah. cheat the system. So wait, what was the job? What was the job that you had right before you got like your first big break in acting? Like non-acting job? Because everybody that my... does something on the side when you're like still auditioning and stuff. So what was something? Right. Uh, I, I think that was around the apartment management side. That's the other random job that you told me that you had. Apartment management. Apartment management. Yeah, yeah which is amazing character study, by the way. Um, but but yeah, there were. Oh man, there were some stories. I don't know if I can share all of them. Share. Um, well, you know, we're family. I might have to go into we're witness protection or something. I don't know, but. Uh, yeah, it was uh, it was definitely uh, a fun actor's job for sure. What, what about, about you? you? Before I started acting, well, just a little quick dip into my history. <laughs> I used to be rather jolly good at soccer. We call it football because we use our feet and it's a ball. But you guys, you know, have different uses for your word of football. You know, you throw that egg thing, um, so it should be called throw egg. But anyway, enough of that. Um, but I kept getting injured, so I had to go to university to get a degree because my dad was like, listen, get someone to fall back on because you are, like, so fragile. Um, <laughs> I was like, cheers, Dad. Which no, is why you're an actor. Which is why I'm an actor, because <laughs> we're all really insecure and fragile. Um, and so I was, I was literally at university, and I, I, <laughs> I did do a little bit of modeling while I was at uni to pay for books. It was only because I was really lazy. <laughs> And although we don't know, to be fair, we, we lived in a house full of six footballers, soccer players, and we were like the artful dodger in his gang because we all worked different industries so that we could live for free in town. So I ended up working in a bar so my boys could get free drink. My so buddy basically you stole from every single job that you ever had. Like, what have you stolen from the American I pre set? I prefer <laughs> borrowed. And I did not steal anything from the, the American God set. Oh, no. Right. <laughs> I sense a story coming along. What are you I mean, <laughs> that would be wrong. <laughs> They're on to me. Is there anything you need to hide in that backpack? <laughs> back there? Um, no, I did. I, I collect things from jobs, um, from American Gods. What did I collect from American Gods? I've got all the coins that I, 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 I use rolling my fingers. But that's for homework, <laughs> so I can practice at home. It's got what nothing to do with going on makes eBay. You feel better, Ricky. It's not going to be on eBay. No, and, not at all. But I do, so on a serious note, I do have dibs on Betty, the Cadillac oh. that we use in American Gods. That car's going to be worth some dollar, dollar bills, y'all. <laughs> so I want dibs on, on Betty. Um, I see a Motel America shirt there. Ooh, nice. nice. I can see There's you. a couple of the American God shirts. Out um, there. But that, there was, there was loads of those. And like literally, the, the whole crew went nuts for those, didn't they? Oh, yeah. So wait a second. There were those shirts, and you give me this? Oh. I'm totally kidding. This is way more priceless, and I love it. Oh. I slept like... in it first, though. Well, now this is going to go on eBay. I'm not a Dude, sweaty don't, sleeper. Actually, don't say that, because I'm going to get the like, groans over there. Shirt. Ew, he's People so disgusting. Like... He looks like a sweater. <laughs> but your sweat smells lovely. So You're just fine. lovely in every way. Do you notice we're twinning, by the way? With our I with know. our ripped up jeans. I know. What? She she helped me out earlier. I was I was doing photo ops and 
for some reason, people, people like me to propose during, during our pictures. Um, so I'm married a lot, a lot of wives. And so my knees were dead ashy. So I looked like someone came up with some like Tipex or like white Sharpie and was just like I circled on my knees. I was out for you. I didn't and want you to get like, up on stage with ashy knees. Right. Moisturize your knees, bro. <laughs> they look ashy as heck. You're letting the team down. Yeah. You don't want to go out there. So can we see, can we see? That, that's, that's not ash, that's a scar that's caught in the light on the screen there. That's not ash, that's scarring, scarring from where I tore my kneecap off. Long story. What? But the rest are really smooth and silky. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. You're Thank welcome. You. I appreciate it. Um, so we're going to play a little bit of a game. That's why we have this lovely die out here. I thought it was like I don't Jumanji even want to know what you thought it was, Jumanji? actually. Jumanji. Yeah, it's like Jumanji, but it's not at all. Right. So what we're going to do... Slash Ouija board. <laughs> you're going to roll the die, and whatever number comes up... We should play. ...is going to correspond with a question on my card. Okay. I feel that whatever number I roll, you go straight to your worst question and just like... <laughs> Listen, <clears throat> you'll never know. Because I will hide what? this card after what? we get up. The upstairs. goddess of love first. Ladies yeah. first. This okay. beautiful Trust. queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I'm rolling mystery die, apparently. <laughs> Just saying, Ricky. They, right. they said it's a die. <laughs> this is your future. All right, so what do we have? A three? A three. Number yeah. three. Of the other special guests here at C2E2, who are you picking for your zombie apocalypse team? Ooh. Oh, oh. Well, uh, I will... And you can't cheat and pick each other. I wasn't picking you, though. No, <laughs> no, I'm sorry, no. But I just met CM Punk oh, in the green room, right? Okay, and okay. he was just chilling on his own. And I was just like, you got this, bro. And then you were like, I need to go to the gym. And I was like, to I want to chat to him. I was like, dude, you're a legend. You're awesome. I watched you, like, you're, you know, his whole generation growing up. He was wicked. So he's a badass. And if I was going to be in an apocalypse, I'd want him just, like, coming off the top ropes on, like, with armor, because, you know, a zombie would still bite him. Right, right. But, like, he's a badass, so, but otherwise, I mean, if Bilquist was here, winning. Uh, right. wait, no, I'm just saying... So not saying... her, her character. Oh, yeah. no, Your no, character, no, Joy. You, you do understand that joy. I have... <laughs> just stop. No, no joy today. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> He'll probably explain that one a little I won't. later. You explain it. No, 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 no. You You're explain the one that brought joy. it up. You explain joy. <laughs> no, uh... Ricky, you do understand that you're missing out on the best person to have on your zombie apocalypse. I mean, yeah, it's dude, not she's like, a nerd. I have you all want the somebody charts. that like knows how to like. You want to all know the charts, zombies, guys, right? I mean, I'm just saying, but whatever, it's fine because I picked Gina Torres because she is a best. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and Thank she's you. lovely as yeah, well. She is. Also, <laughs> she's a sweetie. I could also see her coming off the top ropes, and you know, eh, yeah. exactly. she is the top rope. She's really Ooh. tall. Yeah, she is. She's really tall. She's, she's like a catwalk model. It's beautiful, she's and she would stunning. kick butts. All right, let's stunning. do another one. So, Ricky, you, you okay. roll the die this time. I'm. <laughs> Don't be scared. Last time I rolled Aww, a die, I lost a lot. Wiki scared. I just lost a lot of money last time I rolled dice. <laughs> Gambling is bad, children. Yes. Don't get into that. Do not gamble. But is that 15? 15! <clears throat> you pretended that's the question. Yeah. If you were going to wait in line for someone's panel, whose would it be? Oh. Ooh. Oz, Saturday. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> that is it. That is no, the seriously, answer. ours is hilarious. We're amazing. We're funny. We never answer questions, but, you know, we can tell you life stories. We have a fun, a fun ball. It's wicked. Um, I did line up in um, New York for someone's. Who? Because I never get time off, but I wanted to say hello to one of our friends, Gillian Anderson. Uh, yeah. And so they had an X-Files thing going on, and I just wanted to say hi because I hadn't seen her since we've wrapped. Um, but... And you wanted to make sure you told everybody that you're friends with Gillian Anderson. <laughs> did, I, did, I, did I mention that? I didn't, did I drop that name? Here you go, sorry. Oh, it's a heavy one. Ah. But uh, yeah, uh, so me and Gillian, we were just chatting. Uh, me, 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 me and Gar, I call her Gar, like Gillian Anderson, short for, you know, for Gillian Anderson. Me, me and Gar, yeah. we were just chatting with, with Dave. Oh, the company, sorry. We, Dave. Uh, but you know that that was that was fun. But the panels, no, the, I recommend all these panels. All there, the there's panels. some incredible people at these cons, and like we literally geek out backstage. We're exactly the same as everyone out here, just like loving life, just like getting to meet people you grew up with, people you watch now, people you watch then, people you read about, hear about, yeah. um, and then I meet people who I didn't even know existed. Like you're the voice of what? <laughs> 
That's my favorite. You're my I hero. I've seen it before, like right. when the voice actor for SpongeBob came out, and I was like, that's the best kind of famous to be, yeah. where it's like everybody knows your voice and your character, but you still have like your privacy. Yeah. Right. And also you get those checks. Right. As long as the best kind of famous is famous. Good but, checks. Oh, yeah. And you can go to work in your PJs. Exactly. That is the best. You, you yes. just wake up in the morning and go, oh, i got to do an episode. Hey, guys. <laughs> Check, please. And that's exactly how it goes, too. Because I'm, no, yeah. no, we've yeah. done voiceover work. They work incredibly hard, and they're amazing at what they yeah. do. And yeah, I, I geek out, and it's, going to all their panels and stuff would be amazing. Yeah. What about you? Fun. Well, no, I, I think you said it, all of these panels. I mean, you know what a big geek I am, so... I mean, yeah, with you, I, it really would be all these panels. <laughs> Who would be your ideal? Oh, who'd be... Yeah. That's a hard like, question. Anywhere. Um, apart track, from you know? us. Apart from... Oh, well, see, you got me, because I was going to say anything with the Ricky Whittle experience. Stop. But wait a second, that uh, should be uh, a panel <laughs> in and of itself. The Ricky Whittle yeah. experience. Uh, or you know it could what? be like one of those escape rooms. Ooh. <laughs> You're gonna try to escape one of my hugs. Good luck. That would never work, Ricky. It would Everyone never happen. Would I got stay. a strong grip. <laughs> it's a big arm. Don't fight it. I stole that line from The Rock. I'm sorry. I can't even say that's mine. I'm sorry. But it's, his film didn't come out yet, so technically I said it first. Rock, you're so yesterday. I'm kidding. I love Dwayne. He's the man. The man. Um, let's roll the die again. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's do that. What number am I going for? Uh, I don't even know. Are you seeing these random like contortionists One. like just falling all over the place over there? I keep getting crazy distracted. Wait, who's wait what? These cons are amazing. These cons are amazing. Just stuff's going on everywhere. It's like Disneyland for adults. Yes. Oh. And children. Yeah. So basically, just Disneyland. Meet, I'm still waiting to meet it's the kangaroo, better. right? Okay. The kangaroo. I hear there's, there's a kangaroo. Kind of, all right, there's, there's a baby kangaroo. There's, there's a baby kangaroo, kangaroo right there. I'm going to be honest, I feel a little bad for the animal. Aww. Well, I'm not going to lie, mate. I don't think he was supposed to be brought up in a convention center. I'm just saying the thing's wild. Yeah. And there, should probably be out there. There's also a lynx over there. A what? And it's just eyeing up the kangaroo yeah, like, the, I want to take you down. The lynx is looking like it's going to come I'm out gonna take you. Moment. I don't know why yeah. he's like, Australian like too. Yeah. Is a lynx Australian? Where are they from? They're from Chicago. They're from, Af they're from Africa. No, that's Bengal. Get in the car. No, that's Boston, isn't it? Uh, Wicked good. Uh, wrong, wrong city. My bad. He's just gonna keep talking. Yeah, he's just gonna keep going. I know. Yeah. So. So are we gonna get to the question that she rolled? What was oh, yeah, the question? It was a uh, number one. Are we gonna? We're gonna go for number one. Yeah. Number one. Sorry, number one. Okay. I like. I like number one. That's a good number. <laughs> I wanna be your number one. Oh. I think. I Which love character you. from American Gods do you think is the most likely to bug friends to help them to move? <laughs> in real life? <laughs> oh, in real life or well, on no, the, the character? Oh. No, she wouldn't. <laughs> Not the actor, the character. Or Bug both. them to move. We could do we both. Move. We could do both. I'd say Laura, because she's only got one arm. <laughs> Makes but, sense. But, nah, but she's, 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 but she's the strongest. You'd want her to move everything. Yeah, because she could pick everything up. And but like, she's such go. a cow, she wouldn't. Oh, bless. Like, she, is, she, she wouldn't do it. She'd be like, Laura Shadow Moon, that's true. Laura Moon would be like, no, get somebody else puppy, to carry your stuff. Can you move the sofa, puppy? I'm like, have you seen your phenomenal strength? <laughs> no, Mr. Wednesday would be asking everybody to move his stuff. Oh, Mr. Wednesday oh, yeah. doesn't lift a finger. Oh, no. Yeah, He's yeah, yeah. outrageous. He doesn't even roll the coin. The CGI does that. <laughs> I'm bitter and twisted, yeah. I'm still annoyed. Two months I practiced that before season one. Two months. <laughs> Two. Two months is a long time. Rolling a coin. And then you tell me on set, like, oh, we can just do that in post. Just do that with your hand. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? It's not, no, her her fault. At her, it's not her fault. That's all. I That's had all. nothing to do with the Wait, coin. Wait, how though. great would it be if it, like, was your fault? It, yeah, <laughs> it would actually, like, you know I, I would totally you know what? Order it. Just I'm tell dumb. Ricky. Just tell Ricky I'm he'll dumb. do it. He'll do it. Shh. <laughs> And then you were just like the evil genius behind everything. All right, the whole who, time. Who, do you, who do you think, uh, what character on American Gods do you think would be the most likely to bug people to move? Or do you oh, agree? No, it is, it's Mr. Wednesday, All for right, sure. That's your answer and yours yeah, is Floor Moon. No, I mean, it's definitely, definitely Mr. Wednesday. He's, okay. the, he's Mr. I don't want to do toffee. I'm, I, I'm trying to watch my language here. I, I wanted to say something else then, and I'm glad yeah, I said it. I saw, I saw you catch so that. I came up with toffee, but <laughs> that's actually a saying in England, but not in America, so I didn't want to confuse you. I meant like a bad word. Yeah. Um, 
but toffee means a bad word in England, so we say, ah, he ain't toffee. He ain't toffee. <laughs> Doesn't quite sound as tough, does it? Um, let's roll the die again. <laughs> but, you know, it just occurred to me that Mr. Nancy would get you to move his stuff. Oh, Mr. Nancy. But without you even knowing you're doing it, you'd be cracking up listening to a story, and you would be <laughs> you would have moved all his stuff by the end of it. And you're like, wait, what just happened? He would even make a <laughs> grab the end of that sofa, just, and then, oh, my day, it's just over there. Just a, and then, wow! And then he was like, wow, yeah, just pick that lamp up. <laughs> there. I'll see you next week, bro. You're like, oh, that guy. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> That's exactly it. I can't wait until you like start to open up in front of people. <laughs> wait till I get some sleep. I know. And I have energy. All right, let's do one more roll. Come on, okay. ladies first. One you, more you, roll. you keep rolling. You just, I like you rolling. Yeah, just keep rolling. They keep right. me rolling. Ooh, 14, 14, my good 14. luck number. That's my yes. favorite number. If you want to win a quiz, Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. If the power of flight existed, how much of a problem do you think bug swallowing would be? <laughs> <laughs> On a scale of one to ten? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it would be the problem. <laughs> I mean, if you're flying, but like, that's Would it. you be flying with your mouth open? Well, it would just happen. I mean, I think it would go like in your nose, stuff like that. Up your nose. I, I think that'd be a bigger problem. <gasps> stop your nose. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I'll see you in a couple minutes when he's done with I'm this. just saying that all the insects fly at a certain height, so as long as you fly above oh, you know, that height, then you're like going to be drop. fine. Wow. Yes. I just did That's a yes. On a sofa so I didn't break it. On that note, smarty <laughs> van. But, yeah, because I, cause I ride my motorcycle, and like any time like, I, I, I think, oh, it's so warm, I'm just going to get some air. <laughs> No. Oh no, yeah, you can't not it's just have... terrible. I never understood how people ride without like the I don't. full helmet. And like, they just the like, mad helmet. bugs that come out, I'm like, oh, that was a yeah. close one. Oh, it was almost they in the also, mouth. also like whip you in the face. It can hurt, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm British, so I wear lots of deep Vs. Yeah. <laughs> so they're just like, bing, 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 bing. <laughs> Gotta show off those pecs. Um, so you guys are getting ready to go back to filming season two, right? Yes. Um, why are you giving me that? Why are you looking at her like that? Yeah. Because I don't want you to answer the question. <laughs> that was my... Anything that actually you go, requires go. thought, he wants you to answer. Okay, that's, that's what... That's what that eye, crazy eye was, just... It's like goateeds, it's, it's, yeah. it's you, okay, yeah. Um, got this. I mean, things that we can say, yeah, we, uh, we had that read through. We can say everything. All right, go ahead, tell ask, us everything that's for, happening in season two. Ask for forgiveness, not permission. <laughs> That's what I always say. I'll leave that one with you. Yeah. I mean work wise. No, that came out wrong. Wait. No. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, we had we had the read through of episode one for season two yesterday. So uh, we got together with all the gang, uh, the producers, um, and the great man Neil Gaiman was there as well. Uh, he's still beautiful and awesome in every way. I love that guy. Um, and we read through, we talked about it, and they're really open to collaboration. They want the voices to be, our voices to be heard. They know that we know our characters, and so they want to hear what our thoughts are on the, our characters' voices, the directions that we're going, the certain scenes that we're in, the dynamics, because we've got a new showrunner in Jesse Alexander who's done an incredible first episode. Um, and I think you're really going to love it. I'm really excited. We have fittings up in Toronto next week, next week. Uh, which is our base, and then we start shooting House on the Rock uh, at the end of April. So, House of Rock. Has anyone been to the House of Rock? It's close here. Yeah, it's close to here, right? Is it Cray? Yeah, people nodding like Cray. This place is nuts. And I've just seen pictures. And Neil Gaiman toned it down in the book because yep. he didn't think people would believe it. He thought it would be too fictional. And, like, apparently it's insane. So I'm really looking forward to going there. And I don't really want to go, go on set until right near the time because I want to experience everything for the first time, so that is fresh in my head, like, you get that real natural experience of me, like, looking around going, what the heck is this? Because there's, like, there's, like, a full-size blue whale. There's a, a, a full-size mechanical orchestra with, and, and the largest carousel in the world. There's, there's all sorts of craziness in there. So I'm really looking forward to kind of shooting that and, and getting that out to you as soon as possible. I think it'll be out at the beginning of next year. What about you? Oh, what am I looking forward yeah. to? I mean, even just yesterday, getting to see everyone in the same place for the first time Does in a long Pablo time. Does Pablo wear, like, the red hair to read-throughs? <laughs> yes, and he's really mean to everyone, too. 
<laughs> he's not. He's lovely. That's why it's hilarious, because he's this, one of the sweetest people you'll ever meet. Absolutely. Although, although I think I say to him every time, I'm like, did you get taller? <laughs> like, every he single does, time though. I see like, him. I'm, I'm, I'm the big guy on TV, and he makes me feel like a child. <laughs> The, the man like, is... literally, I go to hug him and I get, like, his stomach. I'm like, hey, Pat. <laughs> this is awkward. I shouldn't really move. Just, just let it go. Just let it go. <laughs> yeah, so you good, bro? You good? You good? He's massive. He is, he is. Oh. Um, well, yeah. on that note, thank you, as always, for joining us here on the live stage. Thank you, everybody that came. Get to give it up. Thank you. For the Ricky Whittle experience and for the Titty Badaki. And of course, if you want to keep up with everything that's happening here at the con, you could uh, find us on social media at SciFi on Instagram and Twitter, and use the <laughs> hashtags. It's a fan thing. Hashtag C2E2. And coming up next, we have Jim Zub talking about Dungeons and Dragons: Evil at Baldur's Gate. I cannot bring you anywhere. <laughs>